All right, guys, welcome back to the sixth and last booster box break I will be doing, uh, I believe, of uh, Battle for Sendikar. We'll see. Sometimes sometimes I have issues with drawing myself. But um, this has been all uh, six boxes from the same case. And uh, without spoiling too much, I can say that we've already gotten three... Uh, Expedition lands in the case, which I believe is over the norm. Um, what I'm hearing from people like Ethereum is that two believe uh, I think they they get per case. Um, I split a case with a buddy earlier, and he we only got one in that particular case. And then another friend of mine opened up a case, and he got uh, two. So if if I get free, if there's no expedition in this and in this uh, specific box, then, you know, I, I'm, in theory, I've opened uh, two uh, cases, and I've gotten four, uh, there's Lantern Scout for the first rare, I've gotten four uh, Expedition Lands, which, you know, means that I'm also two Expeditions per two cases. So, there's a false Swamp, do love the four Lands, and we got a Brute Butcher, and again, this is the last box, um, and I will, as always, skip right through the common uncommons, go right for the gold, scatter to the winds, and also I will be doing a recap, so if you think I'm annoying, then you can skip, 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 right to the end, and you can see, uh, I'll be doing all the rares, even the crap, so you can kind of see what a box looks like, bring to light, speculation hype, uh, and you can kind of see what a box looks like. Uh, just in case you were wondering, or maybe you're you're thinking about buying a box. Uh, Exert influence. Not really a card we're looking for, but yeah, that's blue. Ah. Drop on the booster. And we got a barrage tyrant. I also got a foil going on, which is a incubator drone, which is a common. And we got a mountain for the basic. Then we got Endless One. Which is, you know, a good card, I believe. A creature you can always play on curve. It's colorless. You can play it in any deck. I mean, you can play it in any color deck. You know, it doesn't matter if you're playing green, blue, or if you're playing... Uh, a Coom Firebird, or if you're playing, I mean, if you're playing, you can be playing Rakdos, you can play it, you can be playing Esper, you can play it, and you can be playing Mono Green, and you can still play it, so, I mean, it's a good card, uh, and I, I've, uh, a lot of its its goodness, uh, I, I attribute to the fact that you can play it in pretty much anything. Canopy Vista, I mean, of course, if, you want, if you're playing Control, you don't want to play it, because it doesn't really fit into your plan, but, I mean... At least it's not shy on the colors. Then we got Radiant Flames, which is another personal favorite. Shooting stuff and the Gideon Emblem. Then we got Hero of Gomofara. This display is not showing any teeth at all. Or, you know, it's showing teeth at me. Maybe. I'm just not, I'm not feeling any love here. So far it's been pretty lackluster. So, let's get it, let's get it! Plated Crusher. Alright. And a Painful Truths. We got a Foil Blister Pod. Which I think we'll see some sort of play. Then we have a uh, Bring to Light. This is the second one of those. Speculation Hype. Alright. How about a, uh, a Mythic? A, possibly a Gideon. Or a Brute Butcher. Brute Butcher. Where are thou, Mythic? 
Planner Outburst. Not a good card. It turns out that I kind of get a little bit away to, of the, from the camera to, you know, kind of get with the current lighting to get, you know, the card text proper focused. So, kind of late to figure that out on the six box. But hey, Angelic Captain. So, wow, this box has been bad so far. I mean, there's been, there's really been nothing in here. Then we got Prism Array. Doesn't really get any better. Then we got, what we got? We got Fortified Rampart Foil, which is a common. Put it over there. And then the rare is another Prism Array. So Jesus Christ. I'm gonna say though with this case that I mean I'm, I I deserve it. That's fine. Screw it. Then we got from beyond. Good card, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, this card is very playable. And then we got ooh Gideon. All right. So I believe I've opened three Gideons so far because the case isn't over. Uh, but three Gideons so far. I, I don't. I, I don't think it's plausible to open two Gideons in that box. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna be satisfied. Satisfied. I'm gonna be satisfied. I'm not even sure what that means. Sounds kind of dangerous though. Line Hedron Network. A card of shenanigans. Then we got Woodland Wanderer. A card without shenanigans. Alright. Two boosters left. Until we're on the last third of the last box, guys. So we're getting there. This is Cinder Glade. It's 10 bucks. So making progress, guys. Making progress. So, so far I got maybe like worth uh, 40 bucks in this box. So, with the Gideon and the, and the Cinder Glade. Even if I could sell them at that. Holy. Alright. Four. Uh, I don't even care that this, this is also. There's four expeditions in this fucking case, dude. What the hell. Uh, this is the fourth expedition land. This one is Sunken Hollow. It's another one of the, of the new Tango lands. But I've gotten two fetches as well. So, I mean, I've gotten two. Uh, a Sunken Hollow and... Uh, I don't recall what the other one was. That ah, doesn't matter. And then I got a uh, Wood of Foothills, and I've gotten an Arid Mesa. So this this case has been absolutely not a butter. Holy shit, dude! Um, I'm just gonna put it somewhere so we can finish off this box, and then I'm gonna sleeve it because I'm out of penny sleeves. And then we got a Lumbering Falls, so <laughs> the extra rare is also good. So you know, already now this box is insane. Holy fuck! Uh, all right, so last for guys, last for of the box. Then we got a Void Winnower Mythic. Uh, actually, a pretty fun card. Um, I'm already seeing some people, you know, for Commander getting it because it, it's funny. Uh, it's it's not it's not good, but but it's it's hilarious. I I can already see that. So, I mean, then we got Wasteland Strangler, personal favorite. We'll see if it's any good. Remember, guys, I will be doing a recap. So, like, this isn't live or anything. So, you can just, you know, flip right to the end and see all the greatest hits. Then we got a, a Transgress the Mind, which is actually an uncommon that I kind of like. Um, it's, it, you know, it, it's kind of like a, uh, a, what's it called, the Inquisition. Just, you know, it costs two, obviously. And extra influence is the rare, and uh, but but then it's it's three or greater. I really I really like it actually. Um, and it's it's just it's just it's just a card with converted mana cost three or greater. So it's 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 anything. It's not just creature. It's not it's not restricted in any way. The only restriction is the cost of the card. So. So that's actually a pretty nifty fall. It's one of the one of the uncommon cards that I kind of like. This is one of the uncommons. That I really wish it was uncommon. I have so many of them. And 
And then we have Wasteland Strangler for the rare. Not a bad card. I Once again, I like the Strangler. Uh, it's a rare. Sure, it could have been something neat. But, you know. Then we got Veteran Morlier. I've already gotten a Gideon in this box. And an Expedition. I mean, what more, what more can I ask for? How about another Expedition, huh? 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 I'm not kidding. All right, then we got a, not a Grove Shambler, but a Prairie Stream. It's not even, it's a it's a Grove Rumbler. But anyway, Prairie Stream. There you go. Then we got Nissus Renewal. I don't feel like I'm due for a mythic here. Then we got Cosselix uh, Channeler. That's mana to your mana pool. Then we got an Arm Reef Hydra, which is definitely not mythic. That goes over there, and that goes there, and then we're down. This is the last. We're down to last four boosters. Last four boosters. Uh, and we got a Smothering Abomination. It's a pretty decent card, I believe. Then we got... Then we got, then we got... <laughs> that's right, that's saying that's football. All right, moving right along. Last two boosters. I haven't seen a single Kiora in this case. Luckily, we saw like three or four in the first one we opened. So, oh, speak of the devil, there's a Kiora. First one of this case. I have like three Gideons, which is kind of like... Gideon is has been at least... I was in my L LGS earlier, and people were opening left and right. And Gideon was really hard to come by. Then we got March from the Tome. The last card of the last box all right so i'm gonna do a recap and this is a pretty i believe pretty amazing case for fucking expeditions and I, i'm i'm hyped i'm excited uh i was really on the fence if i should be buying this case since you know i was a little on the fence with the product but but here we go last uh, this is the last box march from the tome cura shrine of the forsaken gods smothering abomination Orin reef hydra Nissus Renewal, Prairie Stream, Veteran War Leader, Waste and Strangle Foil, Defiant, Defiant Blood Lord, Exert Influence, Waste and Strangle and Nunfoil, Void Winnower, Lumbering Falls, Cinder Blade, Wild and Wanderer, Lion Hedder Network, Gideon uh, uh, Sindicar, From Beyond, Prism Array, Prism Array, Angelic Captain, Planar Outburst, Brute Butcher, Bring to Light, Painful Truths, Hero of Gomafara, Radiant Flames, Canopy Vista, Akum Firebird, Endless One, Barrage Tyrant, Exit of Influence, Bring to Light, Scouts of the Winds, Brute Butcher, Lancer and Scout. And then finally, for the last card, we got the Expedition Sunken Hollow. So once again, one case for Expeditions. I believe that's a record of some kind. I'm amazed. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, if you have any comments, that's not about the lighting. I know my lighting sucks. I'm outside using my cell phone as a flashlight. So any other comments, feel free. Let me know how your boxes were or if you like cake or bacon. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.